it's John Hennessy here today, and we're going to go do a little quick test drive in our client's HPE 800 supercharged Cadillac Escalade. This is the short wheelbase Escalade, and uh, we put a video out a few weeks ago of this particular vehicle on our chassis dyno, as well as making some runs down the track. Uh, I've been traveling a little bit here lately, so I really haven't had a chance to drive it. But we're going to go drive it today, and uh, I've spent a lot of time in these vehicles. I've owned a few of them, not quite with this much power. Um, but uh, one really cool thing that I think that really completes this package, whether it's 650 horsepower, 800 horsepower in an Escalade or GMC Denali, is this particular vehicle has our upgraded 22-inch Hennessy H10 uh, 10-spoke uh, alloy wheels, which allow us to be able to run the massive 15-inch uh, Brembo uh, rotors that are cross-drilled that have the six-piston calipers up front. In the rear, it's got the four-piston calipers and the 15 inch rotors in the rear so you know you've got the you got the big horsepower that makes it go and now you've got the big brembos that give it the whoa so it's really i think a kind of a complete package in that you know when you're pushing 800 horsepower i mean this particular vehicle you know we've gone zero to 60 in the high threes low four second range and they'll run a low 12 in the quarter mile it's nice to have that additional braking performance so if you're a client and you have uh, an upgraded escalade or um Denali or Sierra truck 6.2 or even the Silverado with a 6.2 and you have one of our horsepower packages, we now have the 15 inch uh, Brembo brakes which make a huge difference. I wish we could run the Brembos with the factory wheels because I think some of the factory wheels look pretty cool, but we do have to do an upgrade to get everything to fit. So I think our Hennessy wheels are pretty neat. They're brand and it's got Hennessy in the center cap. It's a unique design. They're a little bit lighter than stock and um, a pretty neat overall package. So. We'll go drive it. Again, you might have seen this truck a little bit, this SUV a little bit in some of our previous videos. I'm just going to go drive around give an impression. See you on the road. All right, rock and roll. Here we are in the HB 800 supercharged Cadillac Escalade. Seating for seven. And this happens to be a platinum edition. So it's got the, it's got the ice chest and the center console and the super premium interior. It's got the Alcantara headliner. It's really nice. And just want to thank our client, uh, cool guy. He's the owner and founder of the New Orleans Motorsports Park outside of New Orleans. And uh, he likes to go fast. Now he can take all of his friends and go fast. So just driving around the track, I mean, as you would expect, a uh, 6,000 pound vehicle, an Escalade is going to be comfortable and, you know, relatively quiet. You've got a little bit of sound from the supercharger, a little bit of sound from the exhaust, but you know, I've spent a lot of time in Escalades and Denali's and we've got five kids and four dogs. And so, you know, like a good old boy from Texas, we got a lot of people and stuff to haul around. And um, so you retain all the great functionality and room and space and comfort that you get in the Escalade or the Denali. And, um, you know, it's got more get up and go. And, you know, from the 6.2 liter engine from the factory has got, uh, you know, 420 horsepower. and very impressive performance but you know if if good horsepower is good then more horsepower is better so I'm just driving around our track here I'm gonna warm the engine up a little bit and go around the back of the track and do a little acceleration and a little braking and uh, get an impression then maybe just run down the highway a little ways and turn around and come back so not gonna go out to my little windy test road just because again we've not this vehicle was not designed as a uh, handling vehicle it's not like uh, you know, a GT350R or a Focus RS or a Camaro or something like that. It's designed to haul people comfortably, safely, and uh, we've just given it more power and straight line performance and more fun factor. So we built quite a few of these vehicles. They come with our three year, 36,000 mile warranty and uh, been super reliable. Uh, I've modified a couple myself. I think on the last vehicle that we had was 650 horsepower. We put about 40,000 miles on it. So these vehicles are designed to, oh yeah, they're designed to be daily driven, run on pump gas, and um, just a lot more get up and go when you want that. So this is not a GT350, GT350R in a turn, but that's okay. We didn't design it to do that. <laughs> Here we 
we go. I'm not, you know, trying to break a world record or anything here. I'm just trying to get an impression. So I haven't been in this vehicle before, at least to do a standing start acceleration. So I'm just going to let my foot off the brake and nail it and see what happens. All right, ready, set. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's got the eight speed transmissions banging through the gears. We're at 100, 110. 121. Holy crap. And it's got Brembo's. Come on, baby. Nice. I mean, just to give you, I mean, we're running the drag strip in reverse. When it's not prepped, we don't we don't run it the we don't run it the traditional way because of the starting line is slipperier. That being said, I'm trying to I'm trying to relate to what runs 121 on the back of our drag strip. So these so we've tested this to about 112, 113 in the quarter mile, which is, I think, faster than a GL63 or a G63 G-Wagon. It's faster than an Autobiography Range Rover. It's bigger and heavier, but it's got more power. Um, but yeah, this would, um, I'm trying to think, a new Z06 is going to run probably 130-ish, so I mean, you wouldn't expect this to be to run with a Z06, but I'm trying to think in terms of something that's sporty i think this car i mean was you know faster than a camaro ss it's not going to beat a zl1 um but i mean it's really by any standard of a sports car and maybe maybe even some exotics from 10 or 15 years ago this is a really fast vehicle and uh it just happens to have room for seven and can haul a boat and you know haul ass just super torquey so I'm just going to just roll down the track here and just do kind of a roll on, you know, kind of what you'd expect if you're on a two lane road and trying to pass, you know, somebody in a truck and trailer that's going too slow. You want to be able to be able to get around them quickly, safely. So you want power to pass. So here we go. We're just rolling along here at, you know, 42, 43 and downshift and away we go. Oh yeah super strong oh my gosh so impressive now i'm gonna really break 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 hello the brembos are so impressive i haven't run any numbers on the brembos i'm i'm guessing you know we'll, we'll get out we'll get out the v-box equipment and we'll do a proper you know 60 to 0 80 to 0 test so you can compare to you know what the magazines get out of stock but I'm guessing that this vehicle is stopping from 80 to 0 in several car lengths sooner than stock. So what does that mean? You got to do a panic stop, there's you know a critter on the road, there's something that you've got to avoid and you've got to stop. When you're talking about two car lengths, three car lengths, you're talking 40, 50 feet. I mean that's the difference between you hitting something and not. So Again, uh, the Brembo's and the upgraded wheels and tires are, you know, they'll add uh, a little more money to the package. Um, but if you're going to add the horsepower, you might as well add the brakes, in my opinion. So, um, let's see. You know, it hauls butt. It's fun to drive. Uh, you know, this car is going to surprise a lot of people. So, for the folks out there that have got their buddy that thinks they have a fast car and you blow them off in this thing, uh, it's going to freak some people out as well as the people that have got the faster SUVs, the Range Rovers and whatnot. So I'm gonna run out here to the highway and just make a blast down the next exit and come back. And All right, here we are out on the highway, just driving pretty much the speed limit, it's 75. Traffic's flowing along here, it's Friday afternoon, so it's 70, 72. And again, you don't, you don't, I don't hear any don't hear any blower noise. I hear just a hint of, of exhaust as I'm cruising down the road. And this is how folks with Escalades and Denali's are gonna, they're gonna drive their vehicles. You're gonna be, you know, on a road trip. You're gonna be picking the kids up from school, going to a football game, whatever. And so this is how most folks are gonna drive it. So I'm gonna go down to the next exit here and turn around and hopefully have a little bit less traffic as we come back towards the shop and give a little get up and go just again just to kind of demonstrate passing power again I think it can't be under you know it can't be stated enough that you know you're on the highway especially two-lane road and you're behind somebody slow and you want to get around them you want to be able to get around them quickly and again the 420 horsepower stock Cadillac there's nothing wrong with it it's it's 
you know, pretty impressive stock, but this is on a whole different level. And again, if you're, you know, somebody out there that thinks, you know, gosh, I'm looking at a G wagon and G63, um, you know, I would suggest that the new Escalade with, you know, one of our packages, the 650 horsepower package has been very, very popular. The 800 horsepower package is, is somewhat new. Um, costs a chunk of change. You know, but all in between the, the vehicle, uh, new from Cadillac, uh, the 800 horsepower, wheels, tires, and brakes, yeah, you're still about what you're going to spend for a G-Wagon or an autobiography, um, you know, Range Rover, which are nice vehicles. They're impressive. They're quick. Um, this has got more room. Uh, it's more unique. And um, I think it's pretty cool. So we'll turn around up here and give the beans, as the Brits say, and uh, see what happens. All right, so this is kind of a short on-ramp onto the freeway. So we may need a little get up and go to merge with traffic and uh, let's see ready get set oh yeah come on press it Gets to 130 pretty quick. So, such an impressive vehicle. That's about all I can say. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you uh, catch you next time in another cool car. Thanks.